Good morning, everyone. My name is Yash, and uh, this is my partner Belvin. And uh, we are from Diploma ICT second semester. We are making this video for our uh, ICTW subject, and we are going to demonstrate our project, which is about based on Arduino. So this project, uh, this our project is a robotic arm, and uh, we have made this using the Arduino and five servo motors. We have aligned the servo motors in a vertical uh, line, so it will look like an arm. And uh, so we have then also have uh, two joysticks which takes input from the user then uh, gives output on the servo motors. So now let's see our project. So now I will show you the working of the code of our project. So this is the Arduino IDE. So first line we have this hash include servo.h which will uh, include the servo.h library in our program. Then we have defined the joy1 x and y position then joy2 x and y position as a0, a1, a2 and a3. Then we have taken 6 objects of the servo motors. So that is s1, s2, s3, s4, s5 and s6. Then we have the position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is uh, default its value is 0. Then we have uh, attach the uh, servo uh, pin numbers like uh, S1 servo motor is attached to the pin number 3 S2 attached S2 is attached to pin number 5 S2 uh, S3 is attached to pin number 6 S4 is attached to pin number 9 S5 uh, is attached to pin number 10 the common thing that these pins are this pin has is that uh, they all have PWM uh, the reason is that the input that we give from joystick is in the PWM form so we need to have the PWM in the uh, pins then we have uh, this pin mode which will uh, set the mode of the pin so like this is A0 it is used for input same with this is uh, A1 it is also used for input then A2 it is also used for input A3 it is also used for input now in the loop section of our program we have this position 1 uh, the value is that analog read joy 1 x so joy 1 x as you can see this here is A0 so as it is an analog pin so it will have the analog read function it will read the whatever value uh, the joy 1 x has and it will uh, transfer it to the position 1 then what we have here is that we have used the map function what we are doing here is that uh, we are mapping the uh, value of position 1 which is from 0 to 1023 the value of the joystick will vary from 0 to 1023 and we are mapping it to up to 0 to 180 so and then after mapping the values we are uh, writing it to as the servos like here we have written the value to uh, servo 1 which is s1.write and 180 minus position 1 the reason for writing this uh, 180 minus position 1 the logic behind this is that s1 s1 and s2 are inversely connected in our project uh, as we you will see ahead how the construction of the project is so s1 the servo s1 and s2 are connected inversely so we have to uh, subtract the value of the position uh, 1 from 180 so it uh, aligns uh, properly and uh, works properly like a robotic arm then here goes the same thing position uh, 2 is analog rate joy 1 y then we have mapped it and we have uh, written it to s3 then uh, position 3 it is uh, reading from joy 2 uh, x and uh, mapping it to 0 to 180 then writing it to s4 then uh, position 4 and uh, it is reading from joy 2 y and uh, mapping it to 0 to 180 and then it is written to uh, s5 so now i will show you the working of the project so first of all here we have the two joysticks this one is for uh, these two top motors over here and uh, then we have this joystick which is for uh, these two motors and this motor so if I can uh, use this joystick then the top part will move as I said and then if I move this uh, along the wire then the top uh, piece will move like this it will move in the direction which I turn the joystick to and uh, then we have the bottom joysticks so say if I slowly move it that side then it will go there as uh, these uh, two motors are moving together and then we have the bottom motors for the movements of right and left so say if I want to go this way then push it front then I can do that I can also do that the back way like that 
so i can also make these two move together so if i want to say uh, put this in the top position and put this down and i can also do that so i can also move different positions together and uh, i can make uh, both these joysticks work together so they are in complete sync and uh, work in any direction i move the joysticks to thank you